Hello, my name is Mark. Today we're going to introduce you to the integration we recently released, an updated version of the Amazon Connect CTI adapter for Salesforce. Amazon Connect is a self-service, cloud-based contact center service that makes it easy for any business to deliver better customer service at lower cost. Amazon Connect is based on the same contact center technology used by Amazon Customer Service Associates around the world to power millions of customer conversations. The self-service graphical interface in Amazon Connect makes it easy for non-technical users to design contact flows, manage agents, and track performance metrics. No specialized skills required. There are no upfront payments, no long-term commitments, and no infrastructure to manage with Amazon Connect. Customers pay by the minute for Amazon Connect usage, plus any associated telephony services. In our previous release of our CTI adapter, we supported the ability to take voice calls in a Salesforce agent experience and screen pop on the incoming phone number. Agents could also click to dial a number within their contacts. The new version adds several new features customers have asked for. Single sign-on, which provides seamless login with Amazon Connect and Salesforce with any standard SAML 2.0 provider. IVR data dips allow you to easily inject Salesforce data into the customer experience. For example, businesses can offer personalized greetings and dynamic routing based on customer information. Omnichannel support allows businesses using Salesforce chat, SMS, and email to share presence with Amazon Connect. Amazon Connect will know when an agent is handling a Salesforce chat and make them unavailable for a voice call and vice versa. This enables the agent to handle all their Amazon Connect voice calls and Salesforce digital channels seamlessly within Salesforce, providing a unified omnichannel experience. We have improved screen pop capabilities so businesses can pop the right screen within Salesforce based on any information they collected from the caller, such as phone number, case number, and account number. Additionally, all the information collected can be shared with the agent prior to inform them of the context for the call before they even answer it. As part of our improved case management capabilities, all calls answered by the agent will be captured as activity associated with the case. The agent can then go back to that activity and see the call information along with the associated voice recording. We'll have integrated reporting, which will allow agents and supervisors to view contact center dashboards showing data from Amazon Connect. And finally, we'll be supporting voice transcription of recorded calls and injecting the analysis into your case activity. Amazon Transcribe will create transcriptions from your call recordings and then leverage Amazon Comprehend to determine information such as sentiment analysis and push it into Salesforce for viewing by the agent. Now, let's jump into the use case and demo. Today, we have a small energy company called Cirrus Energy that sells wind turbines. As a contact center for Cirrus Energy staffed with a small number of agents, we'd like the IVR to determine if the call is a sales or service call. Capture the case information if it's available and pass this context to the agent. A typical contact center experience would be for the customer to call in, you ask the customer to press one for sales, two for service, they press two for service, and then they are asked to type in their case number. At this point, the call is sent to the agent and the agent asks for the information all over again. And that's a frustrating experience. Now let's call into Cirrus Energy and show how we can make this experience much better. Here we have the agent experience in Salesforce Service Cloud. You can see here with the phone icon, we have the embedded Amazon Connect CCP, essentially the contact control panel, which is the soft phone. And next to it, we have Omnichannel enabled within Salesforce to support email, SMS, and chat. I'm now gonna impersonate being the customer making a call into the contact center. Nice to see you, Sarah Jeffries. Welcome to Cirrus Energy. How can I help you? I have a billing issue. If you know your case number, please say it now. 1166. Thanks. Your case number is 1166. Your call is very important to us and will be answered. So I'm going to mute that down so you don't hear the echo there. And you see the call is now being passed into the agent doing a screen pop. So you can see the information about the case has now been screen popped. And now as I answer the call, I can see the case number and the call reason, which we determined from the call flow earlier. And now I'm gonna end the call, which is then gonna put us into after call mode. And with that, we're essentially going to wrap up the call. And once we wrap up the call, the agent actually can go back later and view the recording. And I go in and see the inbound activity associated as well as any recording. So I can see all the call information and then the recording is part of that. So let's show you how we design this in the contact flow designer in Amazon Connect. So you can see here, we've got a number of interaction blocks. These blocks here, or you see here on the side, we can easily drag and drop those out and connect them together to essentially set the behavior of the call flow. In this case, I've actually got here, I've got set logging behavior. That's gonna log all 
the activity that's happening through my contact flow for each call and put that in the cloud watch that I can go and monitor later. I can then set the voice of the interaction in terms of how the IVR is speaking to the customer. We then invoke an AWS Lambda function. This function allows you to essentially do a data dip into Salesforce. Now I'll show you how easy this is to do. We've already done the installation, with, which is part of the one-click install that's part of the serverless deployment package that we have with the CTI adapter. If you check out the documentation, you'll be able to see how we do that. So if you go through this, you can see here by looking at the attributes within the Lambda function. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, Lambda is essentially our serverless code capability that we have in AWS that allows you to easily take code, provision it, and run it. Uh, and we use that extensively with Connect. It's a serverless code capability there. So what you have here is we have the various attributes that we're trying to do in terms of doing the data dip. So we're actually, what we're saying here is we're going to do a Salesforce operation called lookup that for the contact object to pull the ID and name field and put base that on the number. So we're going to actually pull that information. So when you heard earlier on the, on the demo that the number and the personalized welcome to the customer, that was based on the data dip coming back from Salesforce. So once we've done that, we can actually play the prompt back to the customer, right? So again, which shows how easy this is. We, we're actually setting the attribute, the external name, you know, welcome back. So the next piece that we want to show is we want to determine whether it's going to be a support or service call. In order to do that, we're going to execute a Lexbot. The Lexbot is essentially a natural language understanding and speech recognition capability that we have to build chatbots and integrate into IVR experiences like you see here with Amazon Connect. So you can see here that I've got a prompt, right? Hello, welcome to Saracen, how can I help you? Amazon Connect is using Polly to speak that prompt. At that point, we're gonna actually invoke uh, a Lexbot. That Lexbot is then gonna help us determine the intent of why they're calling. So we're actually gonna show you, I'm gonna close that out. We're actually gonna go over to Lex. So I'm gonna go back to the console real quick. So I'm going to the console. We're gonna go to Amazon Lex. We see you have a bunch of bots here. We're gonna to go to the get customer call reason, which is what you saw we defined earlier in the contact block. So you see we have two intents, sales call and support call. So the intent is essentially determining why, what's the reason of, of, of what I'm asking for. So, and we use utterances to determine how to, how to interpret that. So these utterances, for instance, you know, for, to determine it's a sales call, I, I wanna buy a wind machine, I wanna to talk to sales. So based on these different utterances, we're gonna essentially determine the type of reason why they're calling. If you, it was a support call, you can imagine it's doing the same thing. I was charged incorrectly, an invoice issue. Now, we've done this in a simple version because for the blog post, we want to show people how quickly you can get this up and running. You can obviously make this far more sophisticated using Lambda and, for example, using the Salesforce API to tie into a knowledge base, right, to make this far more sophisticated and an engaging experience from that perspective. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to go back to the call flow. So now, once we've determined why they're calling, we've determined it's a support or sales call, we're now going to set the contact attributes, so set the reason why they're calling. The next step then is to capture the case number. So same thing, we're going to use the get customer input block. And as part of that, we're going to use Lex to capture the information. So I'm going to go back to Lex. And you're going to see we have the get case number Lex bot here. So really what we have is what we call a slot. So a slot is really just an ability to capture specific values within Lex. So we've got that sample utterance here my case is or case number and it determines it's able to use its AI capability, its NLU capability to determine that I'm speaking a number and pick up the case number there. If I said I don't know or I'm not sure or no idea, it would return that as well so I can interpret that based on how the customer is interacting with Lex, how that's getting returned to connect. So once I've determined what that is, I've got that information both in terms of why they're calling and the case number. The next piece that I want to do is actually I want to pass all that information to the agent, right? So we've got, we've captured all the information. We now want to pass that on. So another aspect of what we built in the CTI adapter is really making it easy to take information from the IVR and screen pop that into Salesforce. So in order to do that, there's a couple things here. You'll see we've got a case number here, right? So if it was an unknown block, we would set that here. And then we set the other attributes. So if we, if we have the case number, uh, we would set that here in terms of the, the case number attribute. And then we would also have what we call an ACS of screen pop search. So this is just, think of this as a global variable that we use to pass context into Salesforce. So these are, you could really take any variable, assign that to this, and it's gonna do a screen pop and a search based on that uh, coming into, and when it passes that all into Salesforce. So now that we've got all that information, we're actually gonna 
as you heard in, in, the, in the earlier demo, you're actually going to speak that back to the customer. So we actually use Poly again to do that. But some of the other things to note here is we actually use SSML, which allows you to add more human-like aspects to the speech, uh, back to the customer. So in this case, we're actually slowing it down so the customer can actually hear the numbers that they spoke out and, and understand it better. And then finally, we're going to take the call, we're going to transfer it to the queue, and then send that into the agent. So with that, you can see we've, we've created the end-to-end -end experience that essentially what we just demonstrated. And if you too would like to set up this demo I just showed you, check out our blog post, Building an Automated AI Experience with Amazon Connect and Salesforce Service Cloud. We look forward to seeing the exciting customer service experiences you built with Amazon Connect and Salesforce Service Cloud.